Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. Welcome to my video series, The Filters of Aurora HDR 2018. In this episode, we're going to talk about the color filter that's in Aurora HDR 2018. As you can see, the color filter is pretty simple. There's only three sliders. And those first two sliders, saturation and vibrance, those are found in probably every single program that will process an image. But what I found is a lot of people really don't understand the difference between those two sliders. And really, there's three distinct differences. First of all, saturation will affect every single color in your image, whereas vibrance doesn't affect every single color equally. Let me try to demonstrate that. When we look at the saturation slider, if I move it all the way down to minus 100, we have a perfectly black and white image, no color whatsoever. I'll double click on the name to return it back to zero. And if I go to vibrance and I take that all the way down to zero, you'll see that there's still some color in the image. So vibrance doesn't affect the colors equally. You can see there is black and white in the image, but there still is some color. So that is one difference. They don't really affect the colors in the same way. The second difference is that if you have a color in your image that is saturated or near saturation, when you move the saturation slider to the right, it will even oversaturate the color even more. Whereas the vibrant slider will not oversaturate the color. It will bring the colors to saturation and then pretty much stop there. So vibrance might be a better choice for you to just bump up the color a little bit. And you know, you want to be careful then that you're not oversaturating things. The vibrant slider would be a better choice. Now the third difference between those two sliders is that vibrance doesn't affect the reds as much. And where that comes in handy is if you're processing an image that has a person in it and you don't want to oversaturate their skin tone, your better uh, choice between the two sliders would be vibrance. And if you look at this flag here where it's red, if I take vibrance up, you can see it's, it's saturating pretty much everything else, but it's not really affecting that red quite as much. Conversely, when I take that saturation slider and I move it to the right, it's saturating everything, including the red. So vibrance would be a better choice again if you have a person or persons in the scene and you don't want to oversaturate their skin tones. So that would work better. So typically the what I do is I usually just use vibrance on my images. Sometimes, though, if the scene is really drab and I really need to boost colors, then I'll come in with saturation and bring it up a little bit just to, like, kind of boost all the colors equally. So those are those two sliders. Now, the next slider, color contrast, is super confusing to a lot of people because it's not a common slider. It's something that you don't see in a lot of other programs. Let's pretend we're a painter. And if you're a painter, you have three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. And with those three primary colors, you could mix them, different uh, percentages of one color compared to another color mixed with another color, to get a secondary color. So, for instance, if you mix blue and yellow together, you'd get green. Well, what color contrast does, it takes those three primary colors that a painter might use red, blue, and yellow, and it will increase the saturation of those colors, red, blue, and yellow, and theoretically not touch the saturation of the secondary colors as much. The secondary colors would be orange, green, and purple. So as I move color contrast to the right, you'll see that anything that's red in the image, yellow in the image, and a little bit of blue in the image will increase in saturation and I said theoretically the other colors won't increase as much you could see it kind of increases the saturation of everything because 
I don't think that slider probably is quite perfected yet, but you get the idea. So if you want to increase the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, you would move this slider to the right. Usually, personally, I don't use this slider as much. So just a quick recap. Remember, saturation will increase the saturation of every single color or decrease the, let me start over. <laughs> the saturation slider will increase or decrease the saturation of every single color in the image, even if that color is already saturated. Vibrance will increase the saturation of specific colors in the image. It tends not to increase reds as much. And if a color is near or at saturation, it won't oversaturate that color. Color contrast will increase the saturation of the primary painter colors of red, blue, and yellow, and not increase the saturation as much of those secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. All right, so that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll talk about HDR structure. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.